Often there's a third year player that has a breakout year, and while it's way too early to know who that might be this season, Jalen Johnson of the Atlanta Hawks is someone to keep an eye on. Now let's not forget that although we ended up getting picked 20th overall in the 2021 NBA Draft, Johnson was highly touted coming out of high school in Wisconsin despite bouncing around to different schools, and many thought he'd be a definite eventual top 10 pick. He only played in 13 games for the Duke Blue Devils before deciding to forego the remainder of his college career to focus on the draft. He did have a foot injury mixed in there as well. Through four games this season, Johnson has arguably been Atlanta's best defender. Opponents are shooting just 33.8% on 62 attempts when he's been the closest defender. League-wide, that ranks 14th among players who have guarded at least 30 shots so far. As you can see from these clips, Johnson's length is always a factor. His timing on contests is immaculate. He runs out to the three-point line also with great technique and effectiveness to get a hand up. He's got deceptive strength to keep players at distance from the basket, showing great resistance against opponents with tremendous size who are trying to muscle their way into the paint. And he makes up ground quickly in transition to contest, perhaps even blocking or altering breakaways. Right now, he actually leads the league in most defensive three-point contests with 19 of them, and already opponents have missed 21 threes with Johnson nearby. That's second most. Only Lou Dort has been better in this defensive area. In transition is where he seems to be at his best offensively. He runs the floor extremely well. 15 of his 38 shot attempts so far have come in transition, and he's connected on 11 of them. Now, Johnson is not someone who's going to do much of his work in isolation, although he has had a few nice one-on-one -on -one plays thus far which are shown here. The key, particularly playing alongside Trey Young and DeJounte Murray, is whether he can become at least a decent outside shooter off the catch. Last season, he made just 33% of his 78 stationary catch and shoot three pointers. On six attempts so far this year, he's made two of them. One of his strengths coming out of high school was playmaking, with some looking at him as a future point forward. So far this season, 42 of his passes have led directly to shot attempts. If you watch my videos, you know there are two particular pass types that I value most, and those are the kickouts from the paint out to the perimeter and the feeds to cutters riding the baseline or streaming down the lane. As far as the first one, I absolutely love this one-handed whip to the corner to Bogdan Bogdanovich, even though Bogdanovich didn't connect. This so far is his only spray out from the paint for a three-point look, and to no surprise, it came in transition considering that's where he's most comfortable. As far as finding someone near the basket, here he catches Dante DiVincenzo napping. Clearly Dante expected Bogdan to run off a screen to the perimeter, but instead Jalen hits him with the bullseye pass off the inbounds. With Trey and DeJounte handling the ball so much, I don't know if we'll really see Jalen orchestrate the offense much, but he seems like a really nice tertiary playmaker in situations. A good rebounder as well, so far, Jalen is averaging seven boards per contest. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.